hi everyone and welcome back to my channel once again so in today's video we are going to learn how we can paint water lilies using watercolor so in the previous video we have learned how we can draw different perspective of water lilies having some complex pattern into it with some complex step and few simple perspective as well with some flower birds and leaves so you can use any of these flower whichever is comfortable for you for today's painting and you can use few flower birds and leaves so i'm going to use this particular one the second one is better perspective for me and it's simple so i'm using this one and you can use normal perspective as well it's totally fine so if you want to learn how we can draw water lilies first before starting with this particular painting you can get a link into my description section and you can refer to that link and learn everything step by step now let's start with the today's video so we need to create a basic guideline for ourselves to create composition having leaves flower birds flowers in it so i'm starting with the group of leaves first so basically the leaves should be hard kind of shape but mostly on a rough side and a wavy pattern into it so you can create few main leaves wherein you can see everything and then you can create few overlapped leaves as well because all the leaves are not clearly visible you can simply create some oval shape as well it's also fine as a beginner you can do something like this so i'm creating multiple leaves like this you don't need to copy mine just create your own if you don't want to create this much create at least three to four that is also fine and then start thinking about where you want to place your flower birds and flower so i'm going to create one flower here this is gonna be on the loose side one main flower so this is my main flower can create few flower birds in between and uh, maybe few more flowers also so i'm keeping two to three flower birds uh, these two are closed and this one i'm going to keep it little open so wherein we are able to see the petals and uh, maybe one more flower and uh, for these two flower uh, the smaller one i'm not going to create those two flower like the main flower i'm going to paint it on the loose side so now we're done with the basic guideline rub the pencil mark we are still able to see the pencil mark but we don't want to make it very visible and then you can apply water around the leaf area you can use masking tape if you want to create some background as well but i am only going to paint my leaf and flower area so i am not using masking tape and then with the help of cobalt blue just go around the leaf section in this particular time i am not thinking about the leaf shape and all and our sheet is still wet and then we can start adding green shade into it so i am not directly using green color i am starting with the yellow color and uh, this time i'm thinking about the uh, leaf shape so i'm trying to maintain the leaf shape as well and because we have blue color still wet in enough to turn our yellow into little bit on the green side uh, which is needed because i need different shades of green and yellow into my leaves so that's why i have started with the yellow color but don't stress too much in these step we are randomly adding colors into our leaf section uh, first we are using yellow color and then i'm going to use light sap green color and then i'm going to use dark green color so you can start adding green shades from lighter node to the darker node and repeat the same thing uh, until you are satisfied with your leaf area So I'm done with the sap green now I have started with the dark green color and you can also see the leaf section clearly like few are overlapped and few are main leaves that we have created 
and uh, then let it dry for some time and once your sheet is completely dried you can move to the next step so mine is dried completely now i have uh, kept it aside for 15 to 20 minutes now you can start adding the folds these folds in the leaves is absolutely needed and the outline of the leaf shape that we have so i'm doing this thing with the help of dark shade of green and i'm adding this triangle kind of pattern but not very edgy it should be little on the smooth side and i'm also outlining the leaf area or the leaf shape that we have you can use a smaller brush if you want to or you can use tip of brush to do these detailing into the leaves these folds are absolutely important and needed so i'm going to add these folds in different different direction and angle for all the leaves that we have so now i think you have understand what needs to be done we need to add little bit of fold in each and every leaves that we have and also we need to outline the shape so let's do it quickly you can take all your time to do these things i am showing all these things in a speed way so that we can save our time now you can also see little hint of yellow color uh, as well into the leaf so that's why i have started with the uh, yellow color so once done with the folds and the outlining of the leaves uh, you can add some extra shades into the leaf section so adding extra shade means i am using little watery color watery consistency of color and i'm adding little dark blue green shade into it so i have mixed blue and green together but i'm also making sure we are not getting any hard edges into the leaf so try to blend with the clean water if needed or else use a uh, watery consistency of color so that you will not end up having hard edges into your leaf and now i think you can start seeing the leaf pattern and everything clearly but if you are a beginner don't think about shading and detailing much just try to create uh, all these leaves having uh, a green shade into it and then you can start adding folds with little darker shade of green so if you can do this much also it's totally fine and then you can start adding the flower buds so few are closed and this one is little bit open so i'm using uh, again dark green color to add these sepal structure and flower bird now you can add light shade of blue color around the leaves again these things are optional if you feel it's needed you can do it now one more thing i'm doing is i'm adding gray kind of shade around the base of each leaf that we have on the front side mostly to get some extra dark shade around that area now one more thing is pending when it comes to the leaves so with the help of fine brush this is size zero from the miniature set you can use tip of the brush as well but using fine brush is something makes your work easier create some leaf vines into it so the pattern and structure we see in the leaves so that is something i'm doing here so create the center part of the leaf mostly towards one side not in the center and then start creating vines like this so vines are dividing into sub vines when we are going around the edges so you can divide these vines into multiple sub vines like tree branch and repeat the same thing for all the leaves now because this one is open bird wherein we are able to see the petals so i'm adding pink color into it and we are done with the leaves now we can concentrate on the flower so this one is my main flower 
having normal perspective wherein you are able to see the center part of the flower clearly so create a bigger circle and then create a smaller circle and then start creating petals these are not lotus these are water lily so the petal should be little pointed and little thinner as compared to the lotus leaf and you can refer to my previous video as i have already mentioned to learn how we can draw this step by step now i want to create two more flower on the loose side but i'm not concerned about the shape and structure for those two and then because this one is little bit extended so i am creating stem about to the leaf section so make sure it is uh, on the dark side so that we can see this stem clearly and now you can rub the pencil mark because again we need a guideline but on the lighter side now you can start with light shade of pink color so i'm using very light shade of pink and creating few petals to make it uh, look like these are the water lilies so for those two water lilies which is on the loose side and smaller in size i'm not concentrating much on those two we can create an effect of uh, water lily kind of structure so i'm starting with the light shade of pink and then you can start adding petals that you have created with the help of pencil you can fill those areas with the help of light shade of pink in it these are not very light in color but mostly on the lighter side uh, and then you can start creating center part of the lily so i'm using yellow color to fill the center part and then with the help of little dark shade create smaller petals around the center area so these are very small small petal kind of structure and little dots you can also add into the center now with the help of little dark shade of pink you can add more petals around the smaller flower that we have you can also create center part with the help of yellow color now let's concentrate on the main flower so my previous petals have dried completely now you can add a few more petals which is smaller in size as compared to the previous one and having little darker shade as compared to the previous shade of pink that we have so i'm not creating so many petals but i'm creating few at least 3 to 4 and then you can add little bit of dark shade around the tip of the petals that we have created earlier so i need little dark shade around the tip you can keep your flower as is or you can add some more petals into it to make it little bushier and you can also blend the darker shade with the lighter node with the help of clean water so again i'm doing it with the help of very fine brush because the petal size is quite small so do it carefully so that you should not able to see any hard edges around your petal area and we are done with today's video I'm hoping this video is helpful for you guys. Please do let me know if you have any kind of feedback for me and thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video.